there's a variety of types of inventions that are quite different from each other and, and varied in, in how close they are to standard engineering and how far out they are in new science. Um, closer to standard engineering, we could start with a really revolutionary way to tap into the power of riptides, so ocean tides. Um, Blue Energy Canada, for instance, has a turbine that's low impact on the environment relatively for a large project like that. Um, and then all the way across the spectrum to, mm -hmm. yeah, to solid state electronic circuits uh, that use the principle of resonance to magnify their outfit, output, to uh, amplify the amount of electricity that they put out. And because they are um, tapping into the background energy of the universe, they're uh, Quite, quite in the opposite end of the spectrum. And then somewhere in between, we have the various water as fuel approaches, um, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, oxygen in a much, much more efficient way than is talked about in any standard textbooks, and also at the point of use. So this would mean a hydrogen economy that doesn't rely on a huge, expensive infrastructure that takes a lot of materials and a lot of trucking, tanker trucks. We don't, need, we don't need to truck the hydrogen. We don't need to store it in storage tanks. We don't need to pipe hydrogen pipelines because it is possible to, to do the job of breaking up the water right at point of use. The new hydrogen economy that I'm seeing that, that have been described to me by the people working in the field uh, can also clean up polluted water. It doesn't necessarily need a lot of uh, water from, from the tap water even. Uh, the amount of water that will be needed is not going to make our water scarcity problem worse. It could in fact um, contribute to cleaning up rivers and, and sources of pollution.